Blue, guess what time it is? It's time for me to uh, drop my daily vlog for you guys to check out. Welcome in, everybody. Um, it is Tuesday. It is my first day off uh, since three days ago because I work part-time for Michaels. If you guys are just joining the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is John. I'm an artist in New Jersey, and um, I go by J-Dubs Arts, uh, or Dubs for short. A lot of people call me Dubs. So, yeah, I am, like I said, an artist from New Jersey. I kind of always have drawn or created in some way, shape, or form, but it wasn't my business until about four years ago when I lost my job working for another corporate whore called Wawa um, that instilled some really awesome values for how to run a business in me before I lost my job there. So I can't say that they're a horrible company. They did actually teach me a lot about how you should treat customers, how people should be treated and how you want people to treat you. Uh, and then after I lost that job, I came online on an app called Clapper and kind of started building my pseudo fame. Um, fame with a PH, by the way. And not in a whole lot of people know who I am, but uh, you know, hey, I got 1,400 subs over here uh, as of this weekend and I'm about to hit 200,000 followers over on Clapper. So. I kind of got a little bit going on that I know what I'm doing. Sure. But anyhow, artist, Jersey, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, HD. Um, I tend to lose my points sometimes, but we always come back to something good. Anyhow, I also, in my spare time, dog sit and currently have bloop, my husky. His name is Coda with a T. Not Dakota, he's a husky, the duh is implied. Uh, in front of him currently, you can see the back of his head, is Otter. Otter is half pit, half chihuahua. And over there you saw in the beginning of the video, that was Mr. Blue. Blue is a mini Aussie shepherd, hellhound, beast of burden, super yeller. Uh, he's a really good boy though. But uh, my neighbor's actually having roofing done today, so we get, like, background noise. And this is probably the most in-depth conversation I've had on my phone in quite a while. It's usually how things work out. I don't really have great ideas until it's an inopportune moment. And I am working on my annual canvas. So one of the things I do as an artist is I try to create my own stuff, but I do like my licensed character sometimes, you know? And I did a Jack and Sally when I started on Clapper. Uh, it was a silhouette. It glue in the dark. And I used the world's maddest black from Stuart Semple and culturehustle.com. Then last year, I was asked to do another Jack and Sally, which I did. My followers started kind of making it a thing. So now annually, I do a Jack and Sally. This year, I'm doing a Nightmare Before Christmas like none other. I'm taking the characters, but I'm making them my own, um, which is new for me because I'm used to very much staring at something and then just copying what I see verbatim with modifications. Um, but last year when I did my Jack and Sally, a very close friend of mine, Tom, called me on my shit and said, stop doing that and be the artist that you say you are and actually create something of your own. He's like, I don't care if you use a character that someone knows about, <clears throat> but at least <clears throat> be fucking original. And at the time, I wasn't ready to hear that. We fought. We did not talk for a while. I was very pissed off about that. But he was right. And this year's, I'm doing a, a, a very crazy twist because one of the big things I did while I was trying to rise to clapper fame uh, was I hosted karaoke and music became, always was a big part of my life, but became a very big part of my life uh, while I was hosting because I always wanted to um, give my following something new every time. So songs that I like, because a lot of my followers are from Texas and they like country music, so uh, I would introduce them to a lot of punk music or ska music or just something that's off keel from Tennessee whiskey and jelly roll so that's what i'm doing with this jack and sally there's a freaking dog behind me i wasn't sure what the sound was but there was a dog behind me 
And the Jack and Sally this time is gonna be uh, the rock out before Christmas. And I have Jack <laughs> screaming into his friggin' microphone. I gave Sally a stand-up bass and her hair is like fucking all over the place. I haven't even started with her clothing yet. I just did the hair red in her hair so far and I'm already loving that part. Um, lock, shock, and barrel. Uh, shock and barrel are gonna be the brass section because I like my ska music. And locks on guitar. Uh, I'm gonna give him a, probably a BC Rich Warlock uh, with a Wicked Headstock, which was my go-to back in school. <clears throat> I had a red clear acrylic one. Could you be fucking louder? <clears throat> I had a red clear acrylic um, Beast Rich Warlock that was, was fucking awesome. It was a really dark sound though and I, it was the first guitar I bought for myself. So putting a little bit of myself into that this canvas with that uh, and then um, I w yes, yes, the Wolfman. I decided to put the Wolfman in the band as well and he'll be on the keys. So he'll be on top of a, a full stack for the guitar and bass <clears throat> and then of course no band is complete without his drummer, right? So we, we Ringo starred this bitch with uh, Oogie Boogie on drums. That's right, the boogeyman's dropping the beat. And that is <clears throat> all I have so far. I have in my brain other ideas for this canvas, but I'm gonna do the Jersey thing and I'm just gonna go with it and we're gonna figure it out as we go. I'm sure I'm gonna add a whole lot more. Um, I have not shown much of it, but I can probably anticipate dropping the startup video for it in the next 24 to 48 hours. So stay tuned for that. It should be coming out. Uh, I actually reached out to another musician to see if they want to cover the This Is Halloween song and <clears throat> have not checked to see if they did yet. They probably won't, though, because they're fucking TikTok blue checkers. Um, but I do like the band. So if you guys check out the Punk Rock Factory, they have a lot of crazy cover songs, which is tying into why I'm doing this weird stuff. But until next time, guys, I'm going to go because we've ranted for quite a while. This is probably the longest video I've dropped in a hot minute. And I, I want to go while we're on a good point. You guys know who I am now, so if you're new to me, Welcome to the channel. Hit that fucking sub button because every time I drop a video at the end, I say to all my subs who've been coming back, I love you for that. And thank you. I appreciate you guys coming back daily to see what it is I post and drop. And I know I've been kind of lackadaisical lately, but starting a new job, it has been kind of rough keeping up on the socials. Um, balance. Life's going to be about balance and I'm going to find some more of it. So stick around and maybe you can get some tips or drop some tips in the comments for me on finding that balance. Until next time, guys, I am John from J-Dub's Arts. I'm fucking out of here.